And here are a few examples. Negative 2 cubed. Well, first, just think of the 2 being cubed. And cubed right there means 2 multiplied by itself. 2 times 2 times 2. There are 3 of those. And that gives us an 8. And we note that this is a negative 2 and there are an odd number of them. There are three of them. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So the result will be negative. In this next example, we have negative 3 multiplied by itself four times. So there are an even number of negative signs. We know, without even doing the calculation, we know the result here is going to be positive. Because an even number of negative signs multiplied together always gives a positive result. So, just multiply 3 four times. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and that gives you 81. And the result is positive. And then in this last one, negative 4 cubed, there's a negative number, and there are three of them. So there are three negative signs. We know the result will be negative. And we can multiply in our heads 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 again is 64. So our result in this case is negative 64. Now there's a very important point here in the notes. Note that negative 5 squared is not the same thing as negative 5 squared. Notice in this first case, the negative sign is in the parentheses, and it is the negative 5. It's that thing in parentheses that's getting squared. In the second case, we have the 5 squared, and then that thing has a negative sign on it. So let's think about each of those. Negative 5 squared. That means negative 5 times negative 5. Again, it's this thing, the negative 5, that is getting squared. So negative 5 times negative 5 is 25, because we have two negative signs, an even number of negative signs, so we get a positive result. Negative 5 squared, this next case, means negative 5 times 5. The 5 squared in the parentheses and over here you see the 5 squared in the parentheses. And then the negative sign is attached to that. So this is negative 25. You see they're not the same thing. One was positive 25, one was negative 25. So there's a rule we get from this. If we don't have parentheses, such as in this case, negative 5 squared, uh, which one is it? Is it the negative 5 squared or is it the negative 5 squared. Well, it turns out that it's this one. And here's the rule. If you don't have parentheses, the exponent gets applied first. The exponent gets applied first, then the negative sign. If we don't have parentheses, the exponent gets applied first, then the negative sign. If you do have parentheses, the parentheses dictate the order. The thing in parentheses always gets done first. So in this case, the negative sign gets applied first, and then that thing is squared. In this case, the squaring is done first, and then the negative sign. So if you have parentheses, the parentheses always tell you which one gets done first. But if you don't have parentheses, you have to pay attention to the order of operations. And in this case, the, the, there's a specific rule. The exponent gets done first before the negative sign. So negative 5 squared means negative, and we do the exponent first, 5 squared. So that's negative 5 times 5, like that. That's what 5 squared means, which is just negative 25. Note that in this case, we have a single negative sign. If the negative sign is in the parentheses and that's being squared, then we have two of these negative signs. But down here, the 5 is squared. It's not a negative 5 that's squared. So right here, this is just a single, print, a single negative sign attached to that 5 squared.